Remo Belli invented the first successful synthetic mylar drumhead back in 1957. Introducing the Weather King drumhead, and Remo's consistently broken new ground ever since. With a vast lineup of different heads to choose from to customize your personal sound and look. Their line of drum heads gives drummers an almost unlimited combination of head configurations to choose from because when it comes to the drum set, the materials used for that drum set, the size of the toms, floor toms, kick drums, snares, and the thickness of those shells, and what sticks players may use, and how the player hits, the right combination of heads can differ from one player to the next. Which brings me to the reason why I am making this video. Hello everybody, I'm Brian Christopher Mendes and welcome to Mendiesel 101, my web series that deals with gear, lessons, humor, and anything else that I may have learned in the past 22 years as a professional drummer. Today I am reviewing Remo's Powerstroke P3 Clear Black Dot Bass Drum Head, one of Remo's many choices when it comes to bass drum heads for players looking for their personal sound. Now the Remo Powerstroke P3 Clear Black Dot Bass Drum Head was inspired by Steve Smith. It's a one ply 10 mil clear film with a 10 mil inlay ring inside of it. Then of course, the black dot. Now Remo says the added five mil black dot provides deeper low tones, focused attack, and increased durability. Now for those that are familiar with the Power Stroke P3 Clear, the only difference is the black dot. Both have the same thickness and both have the same inlay inside. So every musician has a certain approach to how they play their instrument. So having a huge selection is a must. I went to NAMM 2020 this year and I ended up talking to Roger Johnson from Remo. We had a great conversation about tone and gear. And when I told him that my go-to head is the Power Stroke P3 Clear, he quickly mentioned that I should try the Power Stroke P3 Clear Black Dot. When he told me it had a controlled low end and attack, my ears literally perked up like a dog who's telling them to go outside for a walk or treats. Low end? Low end? Attack? Low end? Huh? Yeah. I said with excitement, I definitely will. When I flew back home, I quickly ordered one. Then I realized this particular head had been out already for several years. How did I miss this? Why wasn't I told? No, seriously, why wasn't I told? Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, you sucker, why didn't you tell me? What, you can't pick up the phone and holler at a brother? Ah, oh, yeah, man, you know what? Well, I, I understand, I, I, I thought we were friends. You know, you, what, you, 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 you were too busy? Too busy to give me a call, let me know? Sucker. My head came in and I proceeded to put it on my Dixon kit. I seated it properly using one of my favorite techniques that I learned from local drummer and international drum tech Kenny Sherritts, which is when you put the head on, properly seated, and then you finger tighten it and you go from opposite side from opposite side using both fingers, right? So if you're grabbing this one over here, you're grabbing the opposite across, and then you use a key two, four, no. Two. <laughs> Idiot. Use two keys, same principle, opposite sides of each other. This way, it becomes an evening, an evening? An evening out with your favorite kick drum head, the glass of wine, and maybe a nice cut of meat, perhaps veal. Mm. Yes, veal. <laughs> evening the tension. Can I say, can I speak? With even tension. How about that one? How about that one? We'll say that. With even tension, right? What I like to do is you crank down and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. You come back, ease back off, and then you tune to where you want it to go. Me personally, I like to leave the kick drum head, the batter head that is, shy of rattling. I back up all the way off, and then... And I use that noise too when I'm doing it. It, it helps sonically. It, it brings the head together. True story. So at first while playing, I did not really hear a difference. That was until I went back and listened to the tracks. And Mr. Roger Johnson is correct. It does have more control of the overtones than you would of a normal Power Stroke P3 clear, right? So it had the same fundamental lows, but just 
was gone. That makes any sense. It does have more control of the overtones than you would of a normal Power Stroke P3 clear, right? So it had the same fundamental lows, but just the was gone. If that makes any sense. Now, this is neither a good nor a bad quality. It is what it is, and it depends on what the player is looking for. If you want a little bit more control with your overtones, then I highly suggest this head. I should mention, the one thing I noticed immediately between the two was the black dot had a noticeable difference in feel. I noticed my strikes to the kick drum were more responsive than that of the P3 clear. Now, I attribute this to the reinforcement from the black dot. With your normal P3 clear with nothing there, you can imagine that the head is going to give a little bit more when you hit it. Now, this is an exaggerated movement, gentlemen and ladies. So your head's not really, you know, moving like this. But I'm just saying, when you strike it, because there is no black dot there, the head will have a little bit more sag, right? Therefore, that sag is going to translate into your pedal going a little bit further in, the beater that is. With the black dot, it was reinforced and I noticed that my singles and doubles were coming back a little bit faster than I was used to with my normal Power Stroke P3. So, I like to conclude each segment with this. I don't believe there's a best. I believe what's best for you. We have so many choices when it comes to our gear, and it's up to you to find out what suits you the best. Remo has a vast selection of heads to choose from, giving drummers an open canvas to paint with, so to speak, and create your own sound. Now, I highly recommend checking out the Power Stroke P3 Black Dot to all of those that normally use the Power Stroke P3 Clear or coated without the black dot. You might just find that you added another color to your palette to paint with. So if you like what you're hearing, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you would like to see me review something in the future, please leave a suggestion in the comment section below. I'm Brian Christopher Mendes. This has been Diesel 101. Peace and chicken grease.